Hello. In this webinar, we will cover the MET not MET reports and the research MET not MET reports. You can access the MET not MET reports by clicking on the MET not MET link on the reports menu. You will then be brought to this menu where there will be different uh, views of the report. You can look at each by summary and by detail. <clears throat> we will look at a summary report first. And on the summary report, you will see we have the overall Asia Pacific view, and then we have the individual views for the IMTs within Asia Pacific. The numbers in the I IMTs will roll up into the IOT view. We have a separate line item for each product category. We have the total number of product authorizations the total number of those authorizations that have met requirements, the number of authorizations that have not met the requirements. Of those not meeting, we further break it down into the number needing sales only, the number needing technical only, and the number needing both sales and technical. Once again, all these numbers will add up. These Three numbers will add up to 74, and these two numbers add up to the 383 right there. In addition to the standard MET not MET reports, we also have the recertification MET not MET reports. These reports will be populated when there is an active recertification going on. Currently, the recertification is going on for System Z. Uh, we've already looked at the summary report, but now let's look at the detail report. On the detail report, we list line by line the business partner and their status against the requirements. We have um, the listed out by IMT, SUZO, CEID, firm name, partner world level, agreement, legacy agreement. Relationship code, for the relationship code, we have a legend tab where you can see, map the code to the relationship name. City, state, country, and here you can see the product, all the products that will be available on the recertification report is System Z. Once again, because that is the only product that we currently have a recertification um, active for. We have whether or not the business partner has met requirements. And over here, we have the number of sales and technical certs reported. Um, you can see for this line item, met requirements are no. You can see over here, they have not reported any certification. So obviously, that checks out. For this one, the requirements met is yes. And you can see they have two sales and two technical reported. So once again, that works out. Uh, down here on this line, you can see an example where met requirements is no. They have no sales certification reported, um, but they do have one technical reported. So they are in the midst of meeting but they're still overall not meeting requirements. <clears throat>